In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to manage attributes in SimLab Composer and how to utilize them in creating an interactive VR experience. To access the assets that we're going to use in this tutorial, go to the SimLab Academy, then select VR, then Attributes. The first item in the Attributes category will run a video of this tutorial, so let's move to the first step and load the environment. Double-click the first step or drag it and drop it onto the 3D area to load the 3D environment. This is a 3D scene of a technical lab, which is suitable for the VR experience we're creating. Go to the second step and import the Arbor Press. Press N on the keyboard then click on the table to place it on top of it. This is an Arbor Press model created in Autodesk Inventor, and if you were to select any of its components, you will see a listing of its attributes in the panel to the right. SimLab Composer is able to read and export attributes that are within any CAD model. Additionally, you can manage those attributes and utilize them in VR through the Training Builder. Hold Shift and select the first and last component in the Arbor Press assembly to select them all, then click on the Attributes Manager icon. In the Attributes Manager, you will find that the selected object has been automatically displayed in the list to the left. And to the right, you will find all the attributes contained within the objects to the left. If you were to click on the Select Object icon, the unique attributes for the objects will be displayed in the right panel. Click on Add Attribute. The Add Attribute function will add a new attribute to all the objects that have a check mark in the list to the left. Under the attribute name, type Availability. And under Value, type In Stock. As you can see, each component in the Arbor Press model now has a new attribute named Availability, and it has the value in stock. In addition to adding an attribute to all the components, you can modify an existing attribute, simply, Double-click the value field then type the new value, and all the components that has the check mark ticked will have that attribute modified. Click on the clear icon in the Attribute Manager to clear the list of the components. To add components to the list, select the components from the Object Tree, or the 3D area, then click the Add icon. An alternative way to add objects to the list is to use the query system. At the top of the Attributes Manager dialog, you can search for objects by their name, attribute name, or attribute value. Set the option to search for attribute value and under attribute name, select the material attribute. In the value field, type rubber. Click Preview to select the objects that has a rubber material attribute in the scene. Click the Add icon to display the rubber components in the panel to the left. Now you can edit any attribute for the components that are made of rubber, let's for example change the material from rubber to PVC rubber. Let's proceed with the tutorial and see how we can utilize attributes in VR. Go to the third step and import the monitor into the scene. Press N on the keyboard then click on the table to place the monitor on top of the table. We are planning to use this monitor to display attributes using the variable writers. From the VR effects and media menu, select Create Variable Writer. Scale and position the variable writer to appear placed on top of the monitor. Press Ctrl and C and duplicate the variable writer, and place the new writer beneath the first one. Now we need to create two variables to be displayed on the variable writers. Open the Training Builder. In the top right corner, click on the variables list. Add a new variable and set its name to part, then add another one and set its name to material. Leave their initial values blank and be sure to have both of their types set to string. Close the variables list and click on Create Template. 
Using templates allows you to add interactions to multiple objects through a single node, so instead of having an independent event system for each object in the scene, we can use the template node to identify objects through a query and have them all using the same event system. Click on Edit to display the template's query. As you may have noticed all the components in the Arbor Press have the attribute named Part, and we're going to use this attribute to identify those components. Select the Attribute Name option and in the Value field type, Part. You can click Preview to select the objects matching this query, which in this case is all the components within the Arbor Press assembly. Add a node triggered event and attach the template node to it. Now add a get attribute response and attach it to the event, then attach the template node to it. In the attribute name field, select part number and in the value field, select the variable named part. Select the response and press Ctrl and C, then Ctrl and V on the keyboard to duplicate it, then attach it to the event and the template node. For the attribute name, select material. And for the variable select material as well. What we have created is a system where when any object matching the query is triggered, its attributes that are named part name and material will be written in the variables part and material consequently. The only task remaining is to connect those variables to the variable writers. Close the training builder and select the first variable writer, and in the panel to the right, go to the VR variable writer tab and make sure that the connected variable is the variable named part. In the prefix field, type part. You can change the font color of the variable writer from this panel as well. I'm setting the color to green for this tutorial. Set the max string length to 50 to prevent the font size from changing depending on the length of the variable. Select the second variable writer and set its length to 50 as well, then set its variable to material. Set the prefix to be material and change its font color to green. From the SimLab VR Viewer menu select, Set Start Position. Place the starting position in front of the Arbor Press, then from the same menu select, Show in Viewer, to test out the VR experience. SimLab Composer is able to read attributes from any 3D CAD application. It allows you to edit and manage those attributes easily. It also enables you to utilize those attributes in VR through the use of template nodes without much effort or time.